Hello again guys, uh, again another quick tutorial for you, this time it's on Microsoft Excel and I just wanted to show you how you expose the developer temp. If you've ever done VBA programming within Excel um, you know that uh, in order to get to the um, to you know to the IDE tab and to the macros tab etc uh, you get to it via the uh, developer tab there are shortcut keys alt f11 for example which will bring up the IDE um, but I just wanted to show you how you would get your developer tab up in Microsoft Office Professional 2010 okay so first thing you do is go up to your tabs at the top of the application and select your file tab okay once you've got your file tab selected you go down your menu items until you get to options select options okay little configuration dialog pops up with excel options look for customized ribbon in the menu on the left hand side of the dialog select customized ribbon okay and on the right hand side here you can see the main tabs you can see all the currently selected tabs and you can see the developer tab the developer tab isn't currently selected so you select that and then you select OK and then if you look at the top of your menu items you will see you've got a new menu item or new tab developer and you select developer you can see that you've now exposed all your developer options here so you've got the visual basic which pops up the IDE which is integrated developer environment similar to the IDE you've seen C sharp that we've been using in our in our uh, programming tutorials um, I will do some tutorials on VBA programming for Excel um, in the future so watch this space you've also got macros if you select that it will list your currently recorded macros th that you may have recorded um, you've got record macro obviously which allows you to record a macro and what a macro is in Excel is very simple it just basically records your keystrokes and actions and then you can play it back and it just says you have to keep typing things again and again and again uh, I'll give you a quick example record macro give it a name we'll call us the default macro one click OK let's type some rubbish in the <laughs> rubbish in a cell okay hit enter click stop recording enter cell delete rubbish click over here somewhere out of the way click on your macros and you'll see now that you've got a recorded macro okay select it hit run and there's your rubbish okay so quick example on how to use the macro let's kill that um, and you've got a few other bits and pieces here which we're not going to go into um, anyway I hope you found the tutorial useful and uh, I'll certainly be covering some future uh, uh, tutorials on VBA for you Okay, until then, take care. Bye-bye.